Chapter 16 Our sister Phoebe, a deacon in the church in Sancria, will be coming to see you soon. Receive her in the Lord as one who is worthy of high honor. Help her in every way you can, for she has helped many in their needs, including me. Greet Priscilla and Aquila. They have been co-workers in my ministry for Christ Jesus. In fact, they risked their lives for me. I am not the only one who is thankful to them, so are all the Gentile churches. Please give my greetings to the church that meets in their home. Greet my dear friend Epinetus. He was the very first person to become a Christian in the province of Asia. Give my greetings to Mary, who has worked so hard for your benefit. Then there are Andronicus and Junia, my relatives, who were in prison with me. They are respected among the apostles and became Christians before I did. Please give them my greetings. Say hello to Ampliatus, whom I love as one of the Lord's own children, and Urbanus, our co-worker in Christ, and beloved Stachys. Give my greetings to Apelles, a good man whom Christ approves, and give my best regards to the members of the household of Aristobulus. Greet Herodion, my relative. Greet the Christians in the household of Narcissus. Say hello to Trephina and Trephosa, the Lord's workers, and to dear Persis, who has worked so hard for the Lord. Greet Rufus, whom the Lord picked out to be his very own, and also his dear mother, who has been a mother to me. And please give my greetings to Asyncritus, Phlegon, Hermes, Patrobas, Hermas, and the brothers and sisters who are with them. Give my greetings to Philologus, Julia, Nereus, and his sister, and to Olympus, and all the other believers who are with them. Greet each other in Christian love. All the churches of Christ send you their greetings. And now I make one more appeal, my dear brothers and sisters. Watch out for people who cause divisions and upset people's faith by teaching things that are contrary to what you have been taught. Stay away from them. Such people are not serving Christ our Lord, they are serving their own personal interests. By smooth talk and glowing words they deceive innocent people. But everyone knows that you are obedient to the Lord. This makes me very happy. I want you to see clearly what is right, and to stay innocent of any wrong. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Timothy, my fellow worker, and Lucius, Jason, and Sosipater, my relatives, send you their good wishes. I, Tertius, the one who is writing this letter for Paul, send my greetings too, as a Christian brother. Gaius says hello to you. I am his guest, and the church meets here in his home. Erastus, the city treasurer, sends you his greetings, and so does Quartus, a Christian brother. God is able to make you strong, just as the good news says. It is the message about Jesus Christ and his plan for you Gentiles, a plan kept secret from the beginning of time. But now, as the prophets foretold, and as the eternal God has commanded, this message is made known to all Gentiles everywhere, so that they might believe and obey Christ. To God, who alone is wise, be the glory forever through Jesus Christ. Amen.